now we have sources, we can look at destinations. So we know data is going to come in through some kind of JavaScript, some, some kind of library or some kind of app. Now we look at how we send data to places, right? So we have a source here, right? We have our JavaScript source and we have a destination. So let's add one. Now we get a similar screen to what the sources were, but we have different apps here, right? And this is really what made Segment famous initially. So there's, I think, about 200 plus apps here. At the very high level, we have analytics tools, which is a very big use case for Segment, but there's a few other things. So we have things like Mixpanel, Amplitude, some of the warehouses, which I've been hinting from previous videos, right? Redshift, Postgres, BigQuery. We have email tools like Intercom, MailChimp, Customer.io. Advertising, this becomes the pixels, right? The Facebook pixel, the, adverti uh, the AdWords pixel and conversion um, snippets, AdWords ads and so on. Some raw data, we can now send data into different tools, play around with it a little bit more. A-B testing tools, more advanced uh, marketing tools like Lean Plum. Here's Google Tag Manager, as mentioned before, we can actually load a through segment and use that. Some heat maps recording tools, a full story is quite popular these days, Crazy Egg, Hot Jar, and so on. And you can see on and on and on. There's quite a bit of different categories, right? And we end up with quite a bit. So really, when we look at some of the most popular marketing tools and sales tools, they are here, right? So you can this becomes an entire stack of tools. So a typical growth team might be looking at different pixels from Facebook, from AdWords, loading tools like Intercom and Mixpanel and um, MailChimp and just different tools, A-B testing and so on. So this is where it becomes really powerful. We can load tools very, very quickly. So let's load Mixpanel, just to see how that looks like. All right, so we'll choose Mixpanel. We can collect it to a JavaScript source and I'm gonna confirm it. So once we do, we're gonna get asked, you know, the API key and a couple set and specific to this destination and every destination has it right so mix panel people is, is the functionality for tracking users we have connection modes uh, and this is actually just something that's new and something that's i find really interesting what you see nowadays is companies are loading a lot of different things on page right or on the client but it's more relevant for for websites so you might be loading 10 different tools and pixels and snippets and events and all that and it's starting to a page it's starting to affect page performance so for some destinations, now segment is then you're given option in the connection mode. So you have device mode and cloud mode. So device mode is what you expect. So second, you'll you know you'll enable mix panel on the source, let's say on the JavaScript source, and it will load uh, through segment and into the page. So you, it's almost it's the same as you load in the mix panel snippet on the page yourself, except you do it through segment, so it's a little easier to manage. That's device mode. But cloud mode, what that means is Mixpanel actually never loads on your page, right? Only segment loads. And you can send the data to segment, that still works. And in the cloud, it gets converted into the right format for Mixpanel and then gets sent to Mixpanel through their APIs. And what that means is there's a little bit less bloat on the page. Uh, segments a little bit you know, uh, smaller to load and you, you're simply loading one less tool. So this is something that you see companies take advantage of just simply for performance, right? They're saying we don't really need Mixpanel on the page because we already have segment. And that's the whole point of the segment to to minimize the number of tools on the page. So let's go cloud mode. Let's see. So let me re add it again. I didn't actually save it. So so we you know we will add here the 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 necessary information. So we'll need an API key. So let's let me go get that. And then we activate it, right? Now, there's, there's a few other things here, special settings, which will be relevant, especially if you're using the mix panel. And when you enable a destination, you want to double check the different settings. I won't cover them because they, they change from destination to destination. But once once it's active, let's close that. Let's refresh this page. So now we can see, you know, we have a JavaScript source and we send it there to mix panel and it's enabled. And then we can add multiple destinations for this specific source and we can send data to it. Now in the next video, we're actually gonna send some data and explore some of the, the debugging aspects and the schema and a few of the things that happens once you send data. But now we cover sources, how we get data, and now we cover destinations, where we send data to. So let's jump into the next video and actually start sending some data.